Hello, fellow administrators. This is one more update video to share with you all the changes that came for EtherGazer after patch 3.0. As many of you watched my previous video regarding the upcoming changes after 3.0, Yangshi said that they would bring multiple changes, and these changes would affect multiple areas of the game, such as Battle Pass, Modifier's Intels, Iteration Check, Elemental Enhancement, and so on. Now let's take a look how this works. 1. Changes in Battle Pass Please, check the video showing the current BP of main server. As you can see, all the materials for character graduation got removed and replaced by the Tianlu cards, and it's worth to mention that they increased a lot. In this picture, and as well through the video, you can see that in total, we received this amount of materials for current BP. But before you get worried, just check below what they exactly did. Instead of getting graduation materials, the increase of tickets allow you to purchase all the materials you want from the store. I know that this at first hand may sound as a nerf to BP, but it's not exactly like this. Pay attention to the math below. It clearly shows that even if you try to purchase the same materials that were previously given in the free part of BP, you'll manage to get even more and you'll still have leftovers to purchase other materials. You may also notice that they removed all standard tickets from BP, but currently, you'll receive up to 10 blue tickets. However, this requires that you purchase the full BP. 2. Modifiers, Intels, and Standard Banner Currently, the main server changed the content of the banners. This info was previously informed by Yangshi, and they allowed to be shared, to the point that they even made it public. All precise scan units from 1.0 patch up to 1.7 patch got transferred to Standard Banner. This change affected both the BP and all shops that works with Intels. As you can see in the video, you now can purchase Intels from these units in the Recurring Dream Shop, and as well use Purple Intels from A ranks to purchase the weekly amount of 10 Intels of S rank units. The current amount of units that you can purchase Intels is limited to five. Regarding the standard banners, each patch you'll be able to select the unit you want for the rate up. In BP area, the change currently is that Instead of a Genzone key, you'll receive the Signature Key Selector. That'll allow you to choose which key you want to obtain. All the options for each selector will change according to each patch, and you can only obtain this if you purchase the BP. Also, to decide which character you should get the Intels, go according what you like. Or, if you want a specific suggestion, consider to follow my investment guide as shared in the description of this video. 3. Iteration, Check, and Elemental Enhancements after the update of patch 3.0, we got this new challenge mode, Iteration Check, where it's a battle mode that requires you to use the elements suggested for each type of battle. However, alongside it, we got a new update for the building system of characters, as I previously informed through other videos and talks through my Wakeshin QQ, Discord, and other social apps. My suggestion, if you're lost in which skill you should improve first, here's my advice. For damage dealers, Always give priority to the skill that deals the most damage and the skill that'll affect all abilities of the character. Example, for Hades, you should prioritize her basic attack and skill one. For support and auxiliary units, always give priority to the skill with the shortest amount of cooldown or the skill that'll have multiple effects over battle. And in the same proportion, their ultimate must be upgraded as well because of the duo ult mechanic. All of this info is better explained in my investment guide made alongside Algidai. That's all for now, dear administrators. Again, the link is shared in my video's description. Until next time.